under the surface victims of sexual exploitation and abuse may suffer from self blame anxiety and distrust let's see how to recognize and respond to these emotions self blame occurs when victims feel responsible for what happened they feel shame guilt and a sense of failure as a consequence they experience conflicting emotions some may be hostile unpredictable or impulsive others may disengage from social interactions and become depressed lethargic or heavily dependent on others when a victim exhibits self blame it's best to focus on their immediate needs being met try to involve them in making decisions so as to empower them and foster their independence ensuring confidentiality also helps to prevent rumors and social rejection that can increase the victim's shame victims may also experience distress and anxiety anxious victims may be reluctant to socialize and deliberately isolate themselves they may also show symptoms such as shaking or being unable to sleep eat concentrate or recall memories with anxious victims look for signs of stress try to understand what triggers this reaction so you can avoid such triggers in the future after traumatic events distrust is understandable either towards iom the community or even friends and family distrusting victims may be reluctant to accept help or services to which they are entitled they may become hypersensitive unable to make decisions or hyper responsive to outside influence when a victim shows distrust be patient and most of all consistent always display professional behavior and emphasize that iom services are unconditional with no fees attached to them iom's victim centered approach to sexual exploitation and abuse puts the needs of victims first this starts by acknowledging their pain both visible and under the surface